Hi guys, Bebo here, and today I'm going to interview Steve Jackson about his new game, The Fantasy Trip. So I'd heard rumors. I knew about the stuff. Yeah, I've never heard of the game before. This is the first time I've played it. And I tried to get in on the game. It was great to play with the, the creator himself, so it was a very good experience. Um, but to sit down with Steve is... Honestly, it's really nice. Uh, all right up in the moment, you know, the character creation was short and perfect. We were we were the winning team. All the things I love of RPGs, like you know, the the brutal and intense combat. Well, I had to avenge you. That's that's what the final instigation there. I I, I, I didn't survive. I lost right at the end. I will definitely buy the game and anything related to it. Yeah. Well, yeah, may also be showing people how to play it. Definitely will buy it when it comes out. So you've waited over three and a half decades to get the rights back for the fantasy trip. Yes. How does it feel to have this RPG back in your hands? Does this show allow interpretive dance? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. What led me to do it was to be able to do it. I mean, once I got the rights back, it was just, okay, now how quickly can we do a good job of, of getting a new edition out? Uh, it's going to be on a Kickstarter starting on July 23rd. So I've already played this game, but how would you describe this game as a game that works for brand new tabletop RPG players? Well, it grew out of the combat game Melee, and at its heart, it's very tactically focused. It is not a generic game. It doesn't try to cover all periods. The idea is to give people a combat system and then growing out of that, a whole RPG that they can do very, very quickly without a lot of table lookups and extraneous die rolling because it is uh, intended as a, a introductory, a beginning role-playing game. So I could even maybe play it with my eight-year-old and oh, should yeah. be able to grasp it no problem. Oh yeah. You're that parent? It's the idea is just to get out there and have some fun, whether it's uh, fighting your friends or doing a role-playing campaign. And, you know, go down and find some hobgoblins and relieve them of that treasure that they weren't using anyhow. It's light, it's very old school. Dungeon crawling made easy. Awesome. For us, it was a ton of fun. It was a very simple, just dice rolling system, but there was so much back and forth, and when you miss, you think it's going to hurt so much, but then your opponent misses. And Well, you guys were really role-playing it, too. It was great. Yeah, we had a ton of fun. Uh, you know, all the things I love of RPGs, like, you know, the, the brutal and intense combat, uh, all right up in the moment, you know, the character creation was short and perfect, and so it was great to play with the, the creator himself, so... So this game is going to be on Kickstarter in July? Yes. Will there be any continued support for the game in the future for people looking to purchase at retail and then also maybe get some expansions? Yes and yes. We are going to have a retailer level in the Kickstarter, so retailer stores that want to support through Kickstarter will be able to do so. Uh, Melee and Wizard, at least, will be available through regular distribution channels. Uh, we've got a nice little point of purchase designed to hold a melee and a wizard side by side. There will be some continuing support. Uh, how much of it really depends on the, you know, both the amount and the type of feedback that we get during the campaign. Mm -hmm. But I have been speaking with Guy McLemore, who was one of the, uh, the fantasy trip creators back in the day and who was the line editor at Metagaming for a while after I left. And no, no commitments or promises, but he absolutely is interested in talking more. But he's good. He wrote Grail Quest for the original fantasy trip, and that was, uh, that was a good one. You actually hired the original artist from the original game, correct? Yes, Liz Stanforth. We met in the course of producing the original fantasy trip material, and she's just a really nice person, and uh, she's now very well known as a magic artist. Yes gathering very mm -hmm. popular from that. yes and uh, but she was able to make some time to get in some new counter drawings and some drawings for the melee book oh that's so fantastic well you heard it here make sure that you check out the fancy trip on kickstarter and support it at as high of a level as you can because we're going to get more content with the more people we have supporting this game. Yes, and the high level isn't going to be very high. We're, we're, we want this to be an affordable Kickstarter, and then we just depend on lots of people piling in to make it possible for us to put more in the box. Mm -hmm. It worked for Ogre. All right, well, 
Let's follow that ogre model and make <laughs> this a smashing success. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for being on the show. And thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming.